A developing story across the country tonight. Police in Orlando releasing this new body cam footage showing the moments they arrested the suspect accused of a shooting spree. The shootings left three people dead, including a nine year old girl and a TV news reporter. Two others were hospitalized. And today we heard from one of those survivors, the TV news photographer. Guad Venegas has the latest on the investigation. Get on your Tonight, the Orange County Sheriff releasing body cam footage of the arrest of Keith Moses, the 19-year-old suspect accused of a deadly shooting spree in Orlando. Three victims killed, including a news reporter and a 9-year-old girl, two others critically wounded. Three multiple gunshot wound calls in the Highway Street area. The first killing happening Wednesday morning, where authorities found 38-year-old Natasha Augustine dead from a gunshot wound. Officials say the victim was an acquaintance of the suspect. Hours later, a news crew covering that incident was ambushed in their car, deputies say. The gunfire killing 24-year-old Spectrum News 13 reporter Dylan Lyons and critically wounding cameraman Jesse Walden. I just happened to catch a bullet, but he kept shooting at me, so I ducked behind the wheel of my car, and he walked forward and shot into my car. Uh, ended up striking my reporter. Authorities say the suspect then fled the scene and entered a nearby home. I got two more patients, nine-year-old female. Deputies say he then opened fire again, killing a nine-year-old girl and critically injuring her mother. The suspect was arrested a short time later. We recovered a Glock 40 a semi-automatic handgun from inside of his pants. That gun was still hot to the touch, meaning it had just been fired. Moses is now charged with first degree murder and tonight officials are still investigating a motive, but they say the 19 year old suspect had a lengthy criminal history, including eight felony and 11 misdemeanor arrests. That's NBC's Guad Venegas reporting Spectrum 13 news reporter Dylan Lyons was only 24 years old. He leaves behind a fiance. His family has set up this GoFundMe for his funeral expenses. They have already surpassed their goal. And as we look at the screen tonight, more than $46,000 has been contributed. Patrick will update your storm tracker forecast in 30 seconds.